In a kingdom ruled by a wise and benevolent king, a baby boy was born to the royal family. Named Shmuel, he was a cheerful child, full of laughter and wonder. As a young child, Shmuel loved his father in a simple, primal way. His love stemmed from the fact that he received nourishment, shelter, and affection from his father, the king. As Shmuel grew older, his love for his father deepened and transformed into a love tinged with fear. He understood that his father's benevolence was a source of his well-being and that disobedience could result in punishments or a withdrawal of these privileges. His love was now rooted in the fear of losing what kept him alive. When Shmuel reached adulthood, his dependency on his father lessened Believing he could fend for himself, Shmuel left the palace to carve out his own destiny. The absence of the tangible love and fear that he felt in his father's presence led him to a self-centered life where his primary concern was his own well-being. Years passed and Shmuel grew wealthy and influential. He married and had a son, Yosef. Despite his riches and growing family, a nagging emptiness ate away at him. As he watched his own son grow, he came to a stark realization. Shmuel had been selfish, taking his father's love and wisdom for granted, consumed by his own desires and neglectful of the deeper love that should have bound him to his father, the king. Driven by newfound gratitude and remorse, Shmuel returned to his father's kingdom. His love had matured again, this time into a profound appreciation for everything his father had provided him, not just as a child, but throughout his life. How could I have acted otherwise, knowing all that you've done for me, Shmuel confessed to the king. With open arms, the king welcomed Shmuel back, for a father's love is ceaseless and forgiving. Over time, the king imparted his wisdom to Shmuel, teaching him how to be a righteous person, a caring father, a devoted husband, and the just leader. Years later, as an older and wiser man, Shmuel found that his love had evolved once more. Now it was a love full of awe and a different kind of fear, a reverence so deep that the thought of ever going against his father became unimaginable. How could I not love you, father, when you have given me the foundations upon which I have built my life? As Jews, the stages of Shmuel's relationship with his father mirror our evolving relationship with Hashem. During Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, we too have the opportunity to reflect on our connection with the Divine. These sacred days offer the time to reevaluate and proclaim Hashem as our eternal King, embracing a love that encompasses gratitude, awe, and a profound holy fear. And just like Shmuel, it's an everlasting journey towards recognizing and humbling ourselves before the King of Kings. As we approach this Rosh Hashanah, consider the story's lessons about the evolving nature of love, awe, and fear in our relationship with Hashem. Let's humble ourselves completely before the Divine, acknowledging His supreme authority over the universe. Recognize the grace in his continuous care and the wisdom that can be drawn from his teachings. Extend this humility into actionable good deeds. Give tzedakah to those whom Hashem has chosen to be in you. Our charity is a concrete way to demonstrate our submission to Hashem's will, sharing his divine benevolence with others. When the shofar sounds its piercing cry, let that sound resonate within our souls. Let it steer within us a proclamation that Hashem is our King, not just in a traditional sense, but in a deeply, personal, awe-inspiring way. Let's take this moment to realign our will with His, dedicating ourselves to another year of righteous uplifting, of being a better servant to the King of Kings. And in our prayers, express our gratitude for Hashem's acceptance and forgiveness. Ask for another year of life, not merely for the sake of living, but for the elevated purpose 
of serving Him more effectively. Seek to fill the earthly world with reflections of His divine qualities through our actions, our relationships, and our love. May this Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur offer all of Am Yisrael the opportunity to connect deeply with Hashem, to proclaim Him as our eternal King, and to embark on another year filled with purpose, kindness, and spiritual growth. Shana Tova Umetuka and Chatima Tova Am Yisrael.